and loose. On the quest to make this more professional and more uh, whatever. And here comes the dogs too. Hey, it's not your fault, doggies. I'm just so professional. Welcome to Margaret's Pass Hawaii. This is newspaper. Another edition today is September 2 2, 2020. Yeah, 2 2, 2020. Let's find out. If there's anything interesting that's going to happen, uh, bro. And you're so messed up with the Mayan calendar. Come on. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Copy it. Alright, so. The headlines today are Major Errors Found. So we have to do Major Errors Pose for the thumbnail. Something. I don't know. I'll try to pick one later. Okay, it's uh, major errors are found in these contro. <laughs> well, there's a controversy around the how the coronavirus virus in Hawaii was managed, and there's potential major sources of infections. So, uh, in this particular case, there was a veteran hospital. This Hilo, a bunch of big on stuff. There's a veterans hospital in Hilo, and you know, vets don't get big budget, they get ignored. Uh, old folks homes, they get ignored. And this particular hospital was just not well kept, I suppose, I'm assuming, but this is uh, the gist I'm getting. And so, when coronavirus came in, that framework, that closed system comes into that system, circulates around and boom, boom, boom. People are dropping like flies and it's all by what happened. And this is like deaths. It's like... This room is hot as Hades. I call it the Hades room. Because we'll do devil shit later. That's right. We we torture puppies. puppies. <laughs> Feel my pain. Anyways, back to reality. Or is it? Or is it the other way around? Is our reality life is but a dream? And the other reality, the actual reality? That's what the Hindus say. Major errors found. So in this Hilo place, they're looking to blame people, of course. So they found major errors. So blame on! But let's see what those major errors are, because what can we learn? Coronavirus brought in a dial. Coronavirus brought in from a dialysis center. Dialysis center? So when they're recirculating the blood, and they brought it in, or maybe the people, carriers, and it says, now, this is something that we can all put in our playbooks, I believe, every institution. Mm. Every institution. This one. Asymptomatic employee in the break room. No symptoms. They think they're doing fine as far as they're concerned with the virus infection. And what do they do? Da, 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 da. Relax. Right, of precaution. When people start thinking they're above this thing, they're going to make the stupid mistakes. Let's say silly. silly. It's just, but the thing is, it's life and death. And for, not for everybody, but for some people, 200,000? Is that infected or death? I mean, I don't even know anymore. Now, for today, in Hawaii, we have new cases of 56. So, brava, brava. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, two days, right? That's like two days of only double, not triple digits, down to double digits. Two days. Wow, right? Okay, it's a start though. I mean, it's only a start. Hello, puppy love. Yes, puppy love. 
This puppy is so glad to see me. I have no clue why. Because it's a puppy. Okay, bad, uh, bad time to replace hot. It's uh, <laughs> Let's laugh at death because it's a puppy. Uh, I have to call you some type of death or dog name to balance it out. <clears throat> okay, there's another thing in here that I thought was a little interesting. I took a little preview of just like one page. The rest of it, I have no clue because I'm setting up trying to be a quality. And I'm losing what I'm trying to do here. COVID concerns. Now, in this one, half of Hawaii residents are wary of taking a vaccine. What? You wouldn't think that, though, right? So what they did was... <clears throat> They're, I guess they're looking at a survey, not a poll, like a survey. So it has multiple questions. And they ask them different questions. And different people and different groups of people and such and such. And you get the idea. A survey. A kind of a very sociological survey. Right? Now, now it's coffee time. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. I'm working on quality time because if you overwork employees, if you overwork employees, you get shoddy work quality. Yeah, so, I think I'm making more money. Kidding. Because. Making, hitting back with that. Make it all professional. It's like someone trying to take all the fun out of it. So the COVID concern, this thing here, is looking like this. I'll read a bit of it. Even if a much-awaited vaccine, vaccine for COVID-19, even kind of rhymes, the vaccine for 19... Get shot, get shot in the arm, not the head. Vaccine, COVID, vaccine for <laughs> Hey, you can make a ditty. It worked for cigarettes. Uh, every nearly half the people in Hawaii surveyed last month by University of Hawaii Public Policy Center. Never heard of it. Because <laughs> they're not good at their job. They said they were not yet committed to getting it. Um, because someone talks, everyone talks about this stuff, right? Obviously. Oh, Watch out for the source, but, you know, your you advice from everywhere. And then they think about it. Informed or uninformed, they still think about it. So half the people, if you had a vaccine right now, half the people do, oh, would be, eh. 51% would plan plan right now to get the vaccine. If there's a vaccine, 51% would get, okay. Why is very static, uh, status quo, a very cautionary, very traditional, culturally traditional oriented? So I think uh, in a cultural thing, thinking of, through the lens of sociology, in a cultural, and I mean ethnic culture, not business culture, ethnic cultural, and the different mixes, it tends to be very conservative and leaning on tradition. And I wish they would stop that. I gotta turn off my notifications. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> Welcome to the world of neo ulcer making. <laughs> crazy, no wonder it's so crazy. <coughs> back to point which was whatever I was doing oh the cultural lens of things it's easily taken advantage of you can take a big group of lemmings like the evangelical Christians or any type of large voting block and lead them like sheep to the slaughter or lemmings of the cliff all you have to do is be the right Pied Piper and bunny yeah they don't know follow them appropriate so, <clears throat> what's going on here? 32%, okay, participation in a vaccine. That's one question. 32% unsure. 
Uh, I don't know. 51% plan. Yeah, if it comes out, we'll do it. 2% didn't know or didn't want to answer. Okay, so that's that. 15% don't plan to get a vaccine. I think there's an anti-vaxxer movement deal going on too. So. Now, when people say they're doing normal or post-apocalypse or whatever the fuck, you know, <clears throat> what you gonna do, Alfie? What you gonna do, agents from Russia, but not with love? <laughs> Let's look and see what's in this thing. General election coming up. The general election coming up. Voter mailbox, puppy, puppy. What you doing, Danny? Ow, ouch. Puppies can't teeth like little freaking eels on the reef. Bite eel, eel. 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 Eel fanged puppy. Little puppy fangs. Ow. <clears throat> Hollywood unions agree in COVID rules. Yeah, they're, they're starting up the Magnum PI. Not the original one. The, uh, uh, what do you call that? Spin-off? I couldn't get a new idea, so we're doing this to be economically safe for our, uh, in, insure, uh, to insure our, uh, investors. <laughs> We're going to do the same thing, we'll just, uh, no. But, uh, they, yeah, they're starting to go anyways. I get this. But they're starting off, and, um, they're tested, like, three times a week. For those of you in the movie and television crew and talent and all that, you get tested three times a week. My brother does. He, he, he does in the gaffing and the... And the lighting and the, and, no, not the lighting, electrician and gaffing and grip crap. And he builds camera mounts for a stick camera on the car. It's like in that zone of what, three different unions in there. So it's not just actors being snobby. European the Dodge Trooper dies. Okay, and Europe is going crazy because it's back so they're just the Europe you know they have more I don't care you will not tell me what to do you will not tell me what to do you know is that that well you know I get I know stereotype but in Europe and what's going on is they're pushing second wave I mean oh, I don't know probably third or fourth wave it's so whatever do what you do, you get what you get. You know, consequences simply mean consequences simply mean here it is in the timeline. Say you thought of something and then you decide to do it. And then you put it into action. So here's the action. Then time goes by. Right? So you put it into action, time goes down this way, and something cause effect. Cause effect. Vanna, give us a vowel. Cause, effect. And so something will happen in sequence, but it's connected to the cause, the effect. This happened, therefore this. Consequential. Uh, that's the gist of consequence. So it could be good, it could be bad. Remember the guys, the two guys that jump off the cliff? Eh, hey, can it look over there and jump off the cliff? <laughs> it's like, I swear, if you jump to the left or you jump to the right too far, it's like time warning. A little hand, a little step to the left. If it's to the left or to the right, jumping off the spitting cage cliff, you will hit solid rock on the bottom. There's a a zone where you jump and the waves go into the cave. And spit out of the cave but on the top with the rounded thing you can't see that so you have to know but you it's the leap of faith for sure but they got drunk enough to do it two guys and they got rescued and 
here's the rescue squad. <laughs> That's cool. Let me give them a. To the dive guys, launch emergency removals box. And the fishermen, illegal catch. Yeah, man, they're just out there. Anything. These are scam jobs left and right. What the hell? Good, bad, and right. You just want it. Ah, what's our opinion question? Oh, big Monday Q, you know, the pie chart. Yeah, getting kind of like, this is, I don't know about this venue. It's kind of stupid. It is in the morning. I'm going to turn the, oh, I don't know. It's, it's all just, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's impressive. But people tell me what to do. Hey, fun. Uh, do you know anyone helped by the COVID cities, COVID, small business grant program? 70%, 17% yes, applying for more. 5% no, not yet, awaiting for funds will apply. 78% no, don't know of anyone applying. On Maui, there was $2.5 million dollars allotted for farmers, you know, the kind of small farmers, you know, and uh, they ain't getting it. And you see, you're going to watch the city mayor or the county mayor of Maui. You can watch, he's a guy, he looks holly, he looks kind of ultra holly guy, but he talks real, little, 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 little pigeon kind. But you can see him backtracking. Oh, uh, we're, we're closing up the loopholes, and before we uh, do the do, 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 do. yeah, you got stuff that goes out, big money, and watch the corruption and watch the scams come out like woodwork. All these business people, there's so many are corrupt out of their skulls because it's all about profit. It's not about people. It's profit, profit over people, every time profit over people and it doesn't matter you can go down the tubes you can be sick you can die in a nursing home from a deadly disease you can be overlooked veterans you can be anything and they'll tell you differently they'll da -da 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 -da. zowie your mind and tell you flat blatant lies to the contrary prove me wrong but it's corruption has been everywhere so let's do this time warp. Don't need money, don't need fame, don't need a car to ride this train. Boom, boom. Yeah, we do need this light. I mean, all the light you can get in here. That's also stuffy. No. But boy, we're having fun. Fun with constructive criticism. It'd be different if you're getting paid, right? Or you're getting some type of income or some type of funds, but you're just trying to do it for yourself and whatever. Freaking karma is a <laughs> RBJ Trailblazer. Yeah, she was, it wrote. I can hardly believe that, uh, you know, this woman got all the way up there and she was kicking ass and. Man, even in her 90s, Jesus, and, you know, rights for women and all that. Well, you can close that chapter on American history because even if um, there's a regime change in the presidential administration, they're going to stick one of them there for life. <clears throat> Supreme Court for life. So when they get in there, they got their whole life. I mean, heck, they could probably overturn Roe versus Wade or whatever that abortion thing is. Make abortions illegal. I mean, I don't know. That's the kind of large consequence that's on the table of potential change. I don't know about those things, though. Controversy. I watch it go on and watch my ass off until it 
Anyways, let's get into this. I haven't looked at this. I mean, I've tried to, but I spent so much time with this setup. I hope you enjoy yourselves. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to have fun, and I have to rebuild the... It's like all the momentum was... Now the puppy's licking the ground. What the hell? Why are you licking the ground? and put sh stuff in their mouth. Let's look at this now. Let's get focused here. We can't continue to be governed by fear. Hmm. That's like the menu of letters to the editor. The Electoral College makes elections unfair, unequal. Okay. Check. Check. Come on, let's do choices for me. Oh, we don't want to, you know, be campaigning. I mean, I talk about political science, but no. Protect on my bay, absolutely shopping out of the loser. Okay. Let's just do two. For the sake of <laughs> watching these things. God, they're so long now. Okay. We can't continue. We <laughs> Take two. Mangu. We can't continue to be governed by fear. Mm -hmm. Our founders observed that patience and differ difference to government are a for. <coughs> uh, my throat. Yeah. Uh, our founders observed that patience and deference to government are afforded in amazingly great supply by the governed. That people have a capacity to endure even with a charitable countenance, the decisions made by our empowered leaders. I do not know when limits are reached, but it seems to me that by now, personal savings and resources are close to exhaustion. <laughs> Private property in all its forms as a key element of the pursuit of happiness is in grave danger for a great many of our fellow citizens and the continued government largesse that mortgages the future is unwise franklin d roosevelt said that fear is quote a nameless unreasoning unjustified terror which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance, unquote. This is a simple, profound truth. Let's find better motivations than fear to drive thoughtful governance that accepts the presence of risk and the capacity of the people to mitigate it. John Hansen, Waipahu. Well, thank you for your letters to the editor. And that's not public domain anyway, so boo-hoo. You know what? You're a business owner, aren't you? Have us risk anyone. Risk, 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 risk for businesses to make profits. So you can uh, raise from the dead, zombie apocalypse, the profits from your pursuit of happiness, which apparently you attest to pretty much the material world. I mean, yeah, material world will make you happy to a degree, but it ain't an equation. Happiness equals materialism is a bad equation. And self-spirituality and lessons from the past. All right, blah, 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 that's moralistic. Stop moralizing this, you bastard. Okay, it's getting late, so early, whatever. The next one in our menu of roasting the letters. Electoral College makes elections unfair, unequal. Now, you know these subtitles, these little kickers. I'm sh they're written by the actual paper, the, electoral, the editor who's sorting this. The letter writer didn't write those. Just in case I chopped the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, but the blame with the blame is D. 
do and chop the hell out of it. I didn't chop down the cherry tree, I swear to God. The front page is Electoral College. Keyword. The front pages of most newspapers were adorned with national election polls that show the Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden. Ribbit. Leading President Donald Trump. <laughs> by an average of 7%. Mm. But, because the president is elected based on electoral votes, rather than on popular votes, national polls are meaningless. Trump could be re-elected without winning the popular vote, a repeat of 2016 election, in parenthetical parentheses. And that's a scary thought. It's also a frightening reality. But it's not real yet. Future events appearing real, like now. Fear. F-E-A-R. Uh, yeah, you know where that comes from. That only polls are though... Mm, scary thought. The only polls that matter are those from the battleground states. I know, if you ever watch any presidential election, they all all the votes come in and they watch it down and then he's just like so in his neck and neck and then it is oh we got you know over the certain amount of electoral votes and then the last states because of time zone the last states with their election results of course we're the 50th state and we're hawaii is where the sun sets on the u.s in the la least the latter part of the day. So the sun's going down over here for today. And it's kind of early morning on the East Coast. Okay, for tomorrow. <laughs> you get the picture. So, uh, let's continue. In a representative democracy based on the principle that all votes are equal, the candidate who garnered the most votes should be the winner. In America, this is not the case. The concept of the Electoral College is a grim reminder that our democracy is not fair, not equal, not representative. Although abolishing it may not be possible for now, reforming it should be part of our national, co <coughs> national conservation. Rod B. Katige, with two G's, Katige, B. Rod B. Katige, you are the winner of my approval of letters to the editor in what you say, not how you write it. Because I'm not looking at that. What you say, yes, the Electoral College should be banished. They should just wipe it off the face of the frickin' earth. It's a old thing to make states fair, you know, because there's a largely populated states, less populated states, and they want to make the voting fair. And that's how it began. But now it's been usurped by the super PACs and the power bees and the power delegates and this and that and that's wrong and that's unless you get but I think there is unless you get an overwhelming like two-thirds popular vote something like that if you have an overwhelming vote in the popular vote I think it, it's it's it overrides but it needs to be abolished or taken down to its skeletal form where it began, where it was meant to be useful to balance. It's like House and Senate, House and Senate. It's meant to balance, balance of powers. That's what it was meant to do in the first place. And now it's like this, they control your popular vote, don't win. So how it got unbalanced, that's how we reform the United States of America, back to the balance of power. Because we have too much power in the hands of too few people, and we, the voters, allowed that to happen because we want to get out of their lives and have a bunch of material stuff so we can pursue our happiness. And we wind up voting what we think are wise, wealthy people. What the hell? A bunch of money doesn't make someone wise but apparently that's a national pastime to think so so 
It's a bad on you voters, a bad on you America. Just go out and vote, man. Make a difference. Go out there. If you if you if you think the electoral college sucks, donkey. Let everyone know. Find out how to change it because you'll find you're going to come up with so much resistance because the powers that be that are in place, that are in behind in those inner circles, got there because of that kind of stuff. And they got buddies, they got allies, and it's big, big, massive money. And you're going to be like, near fear. And some people just wind up going up missing. I swear my sister provides on that. It's like, it's like gulag and secret police, but it's on the way backdrop. And only for special cases, I suppose, but there's, you know, I don't think they put black ops on citizens, but I'll be, and if I say the government, the U.S. government never put black ops on citizens, I'd say that. And then, um, like my sister would be like, oh God, you do not know what you're saying. And then read a book on Alan Dulles, the first U.S. CIA director. Look what kind of stuff that guy was up to. Holy crap. We are capable of the most evil people in the world. You think Hitler are bad, or Pol Pot, or Mao Zedong, or these other giant freaking whatever. Capable millions of people dead, yeah, because they're systematic. So, before we count our duckies in world mega deaths, <laughs> let's stop right there and say, hang loose. <laughs> Mongoose invasion, or the meek will inherit the Mongoose invasion. And um, this has gotten too long, and this is like. Okay, it's years. Uh -huh. I mean, so, anyways, I mean, I mean, subscribe, like, and this stuff. And comment, man, comment. Comment if you feel this, and tell me if I'm laid off with him. Oh, <laughs>